Hello, this is Aaron with A Crowd Outdoors, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be doing a lot of hunting and fishing and camping videos. Uh, I'm from Southwest Washington. I grew up hunting and fishing almost every weekend. I've spent a lot of time on the riverbank and in the woods, and I'm hoping to bring some good content to you guys and see where this goes. Uh, today, we're going to go fishing at a local pond by my house, um, just for fun, just to kind of get a lay of how things are going to be and get a video out there and get it started. Um, we'll see you out there. We've reached our fishing destination. It's a, uh, oh, the sun's right there. It's a pretty little pond here. There's usually bass and bluegill and whatnot in here. We're going to just sit down and oh, that sun is just, we're going to sit down and enjoy a little bit of fishing while my family takes a walk. And we'll see what we can catch. I used to fish this a lot when I was a kid, back when nobody knew about it and it was not uh, not as easy to get to, but then they built a walking path around it and as we all know as fishermen, uh, as soon as there's access, it's well known. Let's see if we can get this to you. All right, moved to a different spot and found a couple of fish they were biting, but I was moving my stuff and I didn't see it until the barber until the barber was completely gone and yeah so I missed a couple of fish already see if we can coax those fish to come back yeah look at that look at that oh missed him pulled too early I honestly don't know if those fish out there are even big enough to get the full hook in their mouth, but you never know. I don't know what's down there for sure. Oh, oh man, whoops. And that is why you make sure that your bail is clicked before you try to set the hook on anything. Oh, he's going after it again. Come on. Just got to convince him that he wants it. And, uh, new worm on there. The last fish took the worm. Now let's see if we can actually get one on the hook. There seems to be some fish around here. I mean, they're... And I'm going to knock the camera over. Let's do that, yeah. I'm just filming with my iPhone because I don't really have anything else yet. It's kind of an amateur operation at the moment. And it's uh, kind of, you know, I assume it's just going to be a disaster for the first few videos. So, uh... Enjoy the ride, and uh, hopefully, after a little while, and I get the hang of all of this, and my bait's gone again already. I must have missed it. All right, let's get another. Oh, I'm just having a heck of a time. This hook is hooking on everything. Goodness. These, uh, these fish are uh, master thieves, evidently. Let's try using a smaller piece of worm. Let's try that. Might have to switch to a different hook here if I can't keep the worm on. I'm just using a little octopus hook. That's because I was trying to find something small enough for whatever fish might be in here, but I might have to switch to my bait hooks and uh, just hope that uh, they can get a hold of the hook. There we go, we got that in. Look at that, I think we're getting a bite already. Come on. Oh, too early. You can tell I haven't caught a fish in a while because I'm a little jumpy with the hook set. Alright, let's see how this goes. Oh, let's get the let's get this bobber back in the screen. Ah, there we go. We're getting a bite. 
Oh, we got a fish, finally. Looks like a little bass. All right, one fish on the bank so far. Put him back in the water, just a little smallmouth bass. But hey, I mean, we caught a fish. I'm happy about that. I mean, that, that was the goal is to catch a fish, whether we, you know, I, I don't plan on keeping any today. So look at that, another bite. Oh, of course, I'm not even looking at the bobber. Something's grabbing it because it's swimming around like crazy. Let's see. Nope, nothing. One thing I decided quite a long time ago when I was building fishing rods is that I wouldn't waste my money on expensive fishing equipment. Oh. Yep, we got a fish. Aha! It's a little, little bluegill. Look at that thing. We'll pull him off the hook and let him go. But uh, I think I'm learning right now that it is nearly impossible to talk and fish at the same time for me. Because <laughs> I, I, I catch myself staring at the bobber and blanking and then my my family's over there making a bunch of noise so I'm keep looking over there at them I knew it I got my bait oh I think we're gonna I think we're gonna switch to a different hook here that the that octopus hook is just losing bait left and right. And these little fish are voracious today. As soon as it hits the water, my bobber's already going down. Not even enough time to turn the camera around to... to get a video of the bobber going down. But... I can't even remember what I was talking about. Yeah, I, had, I had tried to start up my YouTube channel a few years ago. I, I always had a plan to start and never actually, never actually did. But then, you know, quarantine hit and I was like, you know, let's, let's get on that, get on that bandwagon and start up a fishing and hunting channel. And then they, here in Washington, they shut down hunting and fishing. So that kind of put some big breaks on my ideas and then uh, as soon as they opened it I got put back to work well I was only back to work for a short while and I got hurt and I was off work for a while but I, uh, I couldn't go fishing or do anything I tried to uh, but good enough to go back to work and then uh, I was back to work for a short while and hurt my back so now for the meantime I am off work permanently and why not just take that time to get my channel going and, you know, while I'm recovering, uh, I can do this for a while and see how well it goes and figure out what my next, uh, my next career move. One more fish for just, just for the end of this. That'd be a nice, uh, Nice fun thing to end a video on uh, pulling in a, a little fish. I do plan on going uh, salmon fishing later this week and I'm really hoping I can get some footage of doing that. That'd be really nice, especially if we get, catch a fish. It's kind of early right now in my area for fish, but sometimes this time of year they're, they're moving in and we can uh, where I'm gonna go fishing at. Usually there's there's a chance of getting at least maybe one. Oh, where'd that dang bobber go? It is, oh, it is underwater. Oh, we got a fish. 
We got us a fish. Look at that, guys. Hey, not a monster, but it's a nice little bluegill. Look at that thing. Yeah, not a bad little fish. Let's get him back in the water. There we go. That is the last fish. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this first video. It was kind of a trial run. I'm hoping that the next one or the next few will be a lot better. If not, and I mean, it is what it is. Uh, uh, so if, if you don't mind, hit the like button and please subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.